The unprecedented flows of capital, flows of people, flows of knowledge and information are reshaping our maps and our politics, our belief systems, and our habits of mind. We're in a period of cultural transformation. The skill sets we need are imagination and adaptability and constantly reinventing yourself in a constantly changing society. You're prepared to, to meet the whole world. How can we do it the sustainable way? You're trying to actually prepare young people for biosphere consciousness. We learn about ancient civilizations all over the world. We made costumes of Hindu gods. The Ross Spiral curriculum and our understanding of the way integration can help students enter that curriculum best prepares them for the world that they're going to inhabit. The Ross Institute is the instrument for the stabilization of the Ross School program and at the same time for the propagation of the Ross idea to other schools. Especially through teacher training. So the Ross version of the evolution of consciousness is called this spiral curriculum. We're starting off here at the ziggurat of Ur, the early Mesopotamia, which is now... The most effective teachers are the ones who are the most empathic with their students. This is a new study that came what out. What we have to do is rethink, rethink the entire structure of education from K through 12, transform the whole nature of the learning space. The Ross Institute, in its role of communication with the world, communication with teachers in other schools, communication with legislators and influential people. All of this is essential because the change will be impossible without systemic change. I know that I really want to help people and I want to help make it a better place for everyone. I want to be global in a sense and change the world. And I know I can't do it on my own, but if you start and you're really dedicated and you try, I do think that one person can make a really big difference and change.